everyone! Becky Lander, one of your leaders with Osborne Books and More, and I am so excited that you are here to join us for our spring book camp! Yay! This is going to be so much fun, you guys. I did a similar five-day training called Bring It 2017 back in January. I think we learned a lot from it. It was super fun. Everyone walked away with a really great plan. So I am even more excited because our spring book camp is across a lot of different teams. We have people from all over the country joining us and I really love the idea of learning from others and the power of brainstorming with other like-minded people in the business so it is going to be a ton of fun we kick off tomorrow on Monday but before we get started I wanted to just do a quick little welcome message. I know some of you know me, not all of you know me, um, but I'm Becky. I'm based here in San Diego, California. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old and an amazing book husband that helps me with uh, my website and all kinds of technical support. He's fabulous. So that's a little bit about me, um, a little bit about my Usborne story. Um, probably much like you, I attended a Facebook party back in August of 2015 and immediately thought the books were amazing, got totally hooked on it, planned on hosting a party and then immediately changed my mind <laughs> and decided I might as well just get that starter kit since it was such a great deal and I was going to get all those books for my family and I'd have a lifetime discount, right? Sound familiar? Um, so fast forward nine months later, I ended up leaving my corporate marketing job of 11 years. Um, I worked for an amazing organization called the Center for Creative Leadership, which is one of the top leadership development training providers um, globally. And I am now a book lady. This is what I do and I do it day in and day out. And as much as I absolutely love doing parties and book fairs and events and working with my customers. One thing that I very much love is working with my team and doing training just like this. I think I grew up in an organization that did leadership training and so this is right up my alley and I'm so happy you're here. Um, I also have a website called myconsultanttraining.com that you probably already popped over on to get the workbook. And I have a ton of training there for my team and it is open for anyone to use. So feel free to share with your team, um, invite your team to this training. It's open for everyone. I figure I might as well, um, I might as well share it, right? I've created it and so I might as well share it with everyone else and I've learned so much from so many other people in the business. Um, this is kind of my way of, of giving back and involving others. So thank you again for being here. Um, just a quick overview of what to expect for the week. First off, did you download your workbook? Get your workbook. Um, this is gonna be a really helpful guide throughout the week. So you can kind of consider me as your facilitator or as your tour guide for the week, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop on here and do a quick three to five minute video every day. And then there's gonna be a topic where you can brainstorm in the group and you're gonna wanna jot down your ideas and your action plan in the workbook. So if I'm your tour guide, this is kind of your map. Okay, so make sure you go download that. There's a link above to download the workbook. And um, just as kind of a preview of what to expect, Monday we are talking about spring cleaning. So this is all about getting organized in your business and being focused and kind of clearing your mind and using tools and systems to really help you grow your business. Um, the second thing we're going to talk about on Tuesday is going to be our party palooza. So on Tuesday, we're going to talk about all of all kinds of really cool, fun and exciting out of the box and new party ideas that we can leverage in the spring and the summer season. Um, I think there's an element of freshness in the air in the spring, and we are just going to have a lot of ideas around different kinds of parties, right? We want That's what we do. We're in the party business. We want our parties to be as fun as possible. So we're going to spend Tuesday talking about that. Wednesday, we are going to get booking, booking parties. So um, this is going to be kind of a booking rally. So we're going to encourage each other and we're going to try to fill up our calendars and set some goals of what kind of parties we want on our calendar for May, June, and July. 
Thursday. All right, so Thursday I'm super excited about. Last year I did a summer reading challenge with my customers and it was really successful, really fun, and a great way to make sure that you have things going on throughout the whole summer. So yeah, kids might be home from school, there might be less book fairs happening during the summer, people are traveling, they're on vacation, but the summer reading challenge is a way to re-engage your customers and kind of do something new and something different. So I'm really excited to talk about that on Thursday. You should walk away with an action plan of how to create your summer reading challenge. And then on Friday, we're going to kind of pull it all together. So Friday, spring into action, like that, spring into action on Friday. Um, so we're going to set some goals and then we're also going to create a 90 day plan. So I am a big fan of 90 day plans. There's, um, it's very difficult to plan an entire year, but if you're doing a quarterly review of your business and setting some clear goals and focus areas that you really want to concentrate on over the next 90 days, you're going to be in great shape. So by Friday, you're going to have this really awesome 90 day plan filled out fairly simple and straightforward to really launch in to May, June, and July. So thank you again for being here. I'm really excited about our book camp this week and invite your friends, invite, invite everyone. It's going to be a ton of fun and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. All right. See ya.